Questions and comments? Uh, Kissing your commentaire, uh, the Honourable Member for Barry Innisfil. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of confusing to me in a, in a way to um, hear the Parliamentary Secretary talk about, you know, perhaps moving this into different areas. It was in front of a parliamentary committee. The parliamentary committee exercised its obligation and its will to get to the bottom of what Canadians are now seeing as a, a significant uh, and gross uh, misuse of public funds. Um, and public opinion is in agreement with that, Mr. Speaker. So failing the fact that even during committee, and the obligations of committee members to get to the bottom of this, and the privilege that they've exercised in committee to get to the answers, we heard that Mr. Firth didn't respond. And so what was the next step? It was an unusual step, it was a historical step, and that is to ask the Speaker to rule on a point of privilege. The Speaker did. And now the expectation is, uh, based on not just the debate that we're having today, but also the ruling of the Speaker, that we will have Mr. Firth come before the bar. I'm not as confident, perhaps, as what the Honourable Member is, that we're going to get to the bottom of this and have Mr. Firth answer question, questions, unless he is brought to the bar and he's answered those questions directly. So uh, my question to the Honourable Member is, does he feel parliamentarians on that committee exercising uh, their obligations to have those questions answered is best answered here in the House of Commons, as Mr. Firth would be called to the bar, or would it be back at committee? Well, Parliamentary Secretary. Well, I, I would look at it in the sense of the, the, broader, the broader issue. And ultimately, um, Mr. Firth has not only insulted a particular uh, committee, but uh, all uh, members uh, of the House of Commons. Uh, by the actions that he has taken. I, I think there is a, a great deal of merit, and I suspect uh, that, Mr. Firth, it's only a question of time before he will appear at the bar. The real issue is, is what, how do we design or have a, a, a mechanism that ensures uh, that when we have Mr. Firth at the bar, um, that it's not um, going to be a, a wasteful uh, uh, venture, that we can ensure that we're uh, protecting the parliamentary uh, uh, institution and we're getting a higher sense of accountability on an issue that we are all uh, concerned about. Um, as I pointed out,